What's up everyone? I uh, every time I talk, she needs to know who I'm talking to. So I purchased some stuff from Christmas Tree Shop. It's been coming in kind of sporadically, and I need to decorate the rest of the house for the holidays. I'm going to do a Vlogmas just around decorating the house. So this is just gonna be kind of like a Christmas decor haul slash decorating. So these are the first two boxes that came in. I'm going to, I'm gonna open them up right now and just start to kind of decorate. This was the first thing I purchased. So we, Kelly, come on. So we have a mat in the front and a mat in the back, but they're just getting a lot of wear and tear. So I'd rather give them a little bit of a break. And I think this was like six bucks. So it was definitely worth it. I do want to say that Christmas Tree Shop does a really good job with wrapping everything. I mean, this is awesome. Everything looks so good and it's, it took a lot of precaution with this bubble wrap. I really love this like <laughs> Charlie Brown Christmas tree, but these three pine cones literally fell off as I was unwrapping it and there isn't, oops, there isn't a way to put them back on. So, I mean, I'm not gonna return it because it's not really worth it. I can probably figure out how to glue them on, but that's just kind of annoying that something would come that damaged. I purchased this gold crystal Christmas tree. Let's see if the price is on there. It says that it was $13, but again, I got it for 20% off, and I just kind of had to open up the branches like you would with any Christmas tree, but it's really cute. Our room is, um, like metallic. These ornaments are <laughs> beautiful, honestly, but they're just pretty big and I only purchased two of them. So I'm gonna be returning these. I just don't think they're necessary regardless of how pretty they are. So it looks like I ended up buying more of these. I have two, four, I have six. I don't know, they're just so kind of big. I'm gonna put them up to the I'm gonna put them up to the tree to see if they're worth it. These are also pretty big, but they're so pretty and they light up inside. Um, I also got six of these. I think I need to throw a battery in them though. I don't think a light just hooks up into it. Yeah, that would be asking for too much. Okay guys, so I just got back from Big Value. Actually, I went to a couple different places, but I bought some more Christmas stuff, so I thought I would add this in with my Christmas tree shop decor and show you guys what I got. So I purchased this wood sign. It says, baby, it's cold outside. And I was thinking I could put it up there, but then it'd be in front of the sound bar and my husband will flip out. He, he hates when girls put stuff in front of a TV just for decorations. So I'm gonna have to find somewhere to put that. I also, wow, I also purchased this blanket. I used to have, it's really comfy. I used to have a blue one that had some pumpkins on there and it just matches so well with our decor in the living room because everything is really metallic and blue. So it will fit in nice with my textured pillows on the couch. Gotcha. <laughs> I just got home, so she's very happy. I also let my godchild pick out a toy. So, <laughs> this 
is what she decided to pick out. Is that the baby, Callie? Oh, look at the baby. So I let her pick that out and I honestly wasn't gonna do it as a Christmas present, but she completely forgot about it and her mom asked that I don't give it to her. So I'll put it underneath, look at the Christmas tree. I'm gonna put it underneath the Christmas tree for right now until I have time to wrap stuff. She's so happy. You're so happy. <laughs> oh, your baby. Okay, but seriously, just let me finish filming. So the star that I bought for our tree two years ago was really top heavy and I honestly think I broke it. So I just, I don't know, I just picked up this cheap one, but it's really sparkly and it goes with all of the other ornaments. So we'll see how this one works. It's just something for right now. Definitely not the end all be all star for a Christmas tree. These are gonna be so <laughs> These are gonna be super random, but I thought that they were so pretty. So I purchased a couple ornaments. I honestly don't really need ornaments. So Jonathan, if you are watching this, don't yell at me. I also purchased this one. Individually, they're definitely not the prettiest, but I think they'll go really well with all of my other decorations. I really liked this one. This is way more bronze. Just has a lot of detail. Thought it was cute. She's freaking out because she knows she has a toy in here, but I'm gonna put it, this is actually Callie's stocking. So I'm gonna put her toy in her stocking because she does not need anything yet. Look at her, she already knows that that's her stocking. <laughs> She's like sniffing away at it. I need to put up the other two stockings too, but She's all done getting toys for right now because she destroys them immediately. Don't you pretty good? I love you. So cute. Okay, so a couple more things I got. I picked up this sled. It just says Merry Christmas and it has a wreath. It also lights up. Oh, I guess mine doesn't have batteries. My best friend got the same one and hers does. So that sucks, but I'll put batteries in there. I thought it was just something cute that I can put either up in my bookshelves. There's stuff up there right now, but I'm definitely not like happy with where I just kind of threw everything. So that will go up there somewhere. And then I'm obsessed with little towels in your house. I don't know if these will both go in the kitchen or if one will go in the kitchen, one will go in one of our bathrooms. I guess I should have bought another one since we have two baths, but I thought these were cute. It came with a red one. You leave them out for a couple months, big deal, who cares? Um, they're an inexpensive way to be festive in the kitchen and bathroom. And the last thing I purchased is this really plush, she's obsessed with blankets because she knows when a blanket is down that she gets to lay on it. So I purchased this plush, it's upside down, fleece, um, velvet, whatever, king size blanket. I have a serious problem with purchasing blankets. I just can't stop. It's like an addiction. So I purchased this one for our room. I'm just trying to kind of get a theme together in the main bedroom and I cannot pull one together. So I'll throw this over our duvet cover and just a little bit more warmth and bring some color into the bedroom. But that's pretty much it. I think Callie's really happy with everything I purchased. Oh, there's one more thing. Do, 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 do. So this is the entrance of our house and I have not done anything with this room. So <laughs> it's, it's all blank. So I have some like pillars over there. I purchased this bench from Overstock. There's a stain on it. Amanda, you're killing me, girl. It's from a Pennywise tutorial. I need to try and get that out. If anyone knows a good way to get this stain out, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm scared to honestly even attempt it and it's been sitting there for a couple weeks now. I purchased this frame, well, mirror, and then this sign our travel agent actually gave us as a wedding present. This I've had since our old house. So I thought it was super cute. It'll go well. I plan on just having like more pictures and odds and end things, but it's definitely a more gray taupe style 
theme in here, a little bit more romantic. And that's pretty much it. That's gonna finish it up for the holiday haul decor from Christmas Tree Shop and then Big Value. You wanna say bye, Mama? Hey! Say bye! <laughs> okay, guys, see you in the next Vlogmas.